I am Lamont at Large, and today I am here to talk about the September 6, 1957 unsolved murder of Dorothy Thomas. So let's go back to that day over 60 years ago, September 6, 1957. So the man that called 911 when he discovered Dorothy Thomas's bloody body in the bathroom of the business, 38-year-old Clarence Rames, had a delivery from Coca-Cola. He had went into the dry cleaner because he had a delivery. When he had called out, hello, nobody answered, of course. So he went into the back room, and that's where he discovered Dorothy Thomas, and he immediately called the police. When the police came to process the crime scene, they noticed that there was blood all over the bathroom. It was literally covered in blood. And the detectives thought it was suspicious that after going to the nearby businesses at the time and asking anybody if they had heard anything or if they had seen anything, nobody knew what happened, nobody knew anything. Nobody seen anybody come into the business and nobody seen anybody coming out of the business. There was so much blood. They thought it was quite curious how a man can go walking or running out of a business literally covered in splatters of blood on himself and nobody would have noticed him nobody would have seen anything so forth and so on so they contacted mrs thomas's husband a man by the name of kenneth earl thomas he came to the crime scene and they were talking to him and one of the detectives noticed some footprints in the back of the business and asked if he could lift up his sole of his shoe so he can compare it to the footprint and it matched perfectly. That was Kenneth's footprint. So they said, yeah, your footprint matches a footprint that we seen by the back door. And Kenneth says, yeah, I was out there because they had a banana tree that I was thinking about replanting on my farm in Woodville. So they're already a little bit suspicious of the husband because of course when a crime like this occurs likely the suspect or the perpetrator is always uh, someone very close to the murder victim. So they asked him if they could meet him in Atlanta so they could administer a polygraph test. So they administered the first polygraph test to Kenneth and it turned out quote unfavorable. So that word can, it can mean one of a few different things. Was not a good test. They asked him if they could do another test and he refused. After he refused, he later on moved out of state. They had Dorothy Thomas's funeral in New York. This crime was not a robbery because the register was slightly open and the money was untouched. A little while later after the murder, the farm where the house stood caught on fire and that was it for Kenneth Earl Thomas. He moved out of state. Uh, he remains the prime suspect to this murder. And to this day, that is all there is for it. This is the scene of the crime where the murder took place. Uh, the business right now is closed down, but this is 633 West Tennessee Street. Even though the police found two other suspects, Kenneth Earl Thomas still remains the prime suspect in the investigation of this murder. If anybody has any information on the person responsible for the murder of Dorothy Thomas, please call the Tallahassee Police Department 850-891-4725. I'm Lamont at Large. Thank you for watching. Catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.